have some college hoops as the struggling loyal Chicago, who have now lost two straight, take on the two-lane Green Wave. Not a particularly great team in a game that Loyola should and probably will win. Let's go first half as Kramer and Crutwig with the putback. Solid game for the sophomore big man. Ten points, six boards, and four dimes. As there's Clayton Custer with the catch and shoot. Custer hasn't been himself the past couple of games. One of the main reasons why Loyola is struggling is there's Samar Shehich from downtown. 20 points, 16 boards for Shehich as, as Cameron Crutwig with a mid-ranger danger. Crutwig got off to a very hot start, but cooled off as the game went along. There's Rashad Pickney with a tough shot over Caleb Daniels. Speaking of Daniels, he gets a mid-ranger danger. Very good performance from Daniels as the best Williamson in college basketball. Lucas Williamson hits the tray ball, but Samar Shehich says what you can do, I can do better. Get it up three of the zone, and then Shaquan Barrett. No good, but Kevin Zhang going upstairs where Grandma hides the cookies. 16 points for Zhang, all of which were in the paint. As Loyal Chicago gets the steal, the Townsman. Marcus Towns going coast to coast. He gets the layup. Towns has been very inefficient the past couple of games. As Clayton Custer, the reigning Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year, with the steal and the easy layup. Ramblers up by two. As Lucas Williamson finds Custer, who gets the and one, making it look easy. The foul would be on Zhang. As Loyola would make it a five point game. Caleb Daniels over to Samar Shehich. Who gets an add one of his own? That's Agunane with the foul. So once again, now it's a two-point game as Kevin Zhang gets the deflected pass, gets the layup to tie up the game, and then Samar Shehich with a nice layup of his own, giving the Green Wave the lead. As Marcus Towns, he gets the and one. That's Cornish with the foul. Both teams have a bonus with just two minutes left to go until halftime as Kevin Zhang gets his own board and gets the putback, tying this game up at 35. Loyola now up by two. Caleb Daniels, shot clock, cheese. He nails the ridiculously deep three. Not much time left to go in the half as Towns gets it to Crutwig, who gives Loyola Chicago the lead, 39-38. Now two lanes up by one as Towns in the corner. Catch and shoot. One, two right there from Towns. But Caleb Daniels, he shows how to shoot a three. As Towns' shot wasn't a three, but that was. Now two lanes on a run. It's a nine-point game. Make that a double-digit lead now for the Green Wave as Caleb Daniels gets the floater. And Jordan Cornish, he will find his man Caleb Daniels, who is red-hot. 16-point game all of a sudden. Tulane looking good. Nice layup for Loyola Chicago. Daniels no good as Ahir Uguak will get the board. And Loyola Chicago will go coast-to-coast coast as Lucas Williamson. Hits the triple. Big shot right there for Loyola. As Ahir Uguwak with the mid-ranger danger over the head of one of the two-lane defenders. for Rashad Pickney pull up, and he gets the three. Six-point game. Loyola Chicago still has a chance. But Caleb Daniels, he nails a bomb. 59-68. Daniels with another layup. Just waving away Loyola's chances of winning this game. As Uguwak over to Clayton Custer. Who hits a big three, nine-point game. Now an eight-point game with just a minute to go as Daniels with a, another shot clock Chiefs pretty much sealing this game. But Loyola does get a long two. I guess that's a sympathy two. But Tulane gets the win. Final score, 65-77.